Hey guys, Peyton Snape back here again um, for another video for you guys today. Um, this Goosebumps Books Dig In number um, 49 out of 62. Before I get started, I just want to let you know I am using a brand new camera because I got a new phone. So I don't know. If, I don't know if you could tell uh, that I am using it or not. Probably can't. But um, anyway, that's. I just wanted to let that out. Oh, God, wait. All right, something's on my phone. All right, so. Book number 49 is um, Goosebumps, um, Vampire Breath. Um, yes, they did make this one into an episode. Honestly, I don't know if I really like this or the episode better. I don't know. I mean, the book was okay. I mean, it just... It just... There was, like, a lot of stuff that was different in it, which I'll go to later on in the video. Um... But, um, I don't know. I guess, I guess I really liked the episode a little bit better. I mean, because it was more entertaining. I mean, this one was kind of too, but it was just, like, going to, like, different directions. But, um, basically, the book is about, um, uh, a boy named Freddy and, um, his friend Kara. Um, they were, they're playing in the basement, and one day, um, I think Freddy discovers a, um, a door behind a, um, a shelf in, in the basement, and, um, and, you know, him and his friend, um, they're like, what, what is this? And they're assuming it's, like, some kind of, like, storage room or a closet or something. They open it, and there's, like, a long hallway in there, and it's dark in, in the room, and, um, and then what they discover in there is, like, a coffin, and inside the coffin was a, um, is a, is a dead person, and, um, you know, and they find this bottle, um, that says Vampire Breath on it, and, you know, um, you know, and, and the, the dead person comes back to life saying that he's a vampire, he wants to suck their blood, um, when they open the bottle, um, basically what happens, when they open the bottle, um, they end up going back to, like, a hundred years before, um, because apparently the guy was dead for, like, a hundred years, um, and, you know, they're basically in this castle now. Um, the guy's name, or the vampire's name is... What is his name? <laughs> I always gotta do this. I don't know why. Count Nightwing was his name. I don't know if they said that name. The I think they did in the episode. I have not seen any of the episodes in, like, a while, so... Um, they might have. But the book... I mean, the episode is, like, basically kind of same thing, but it was, they did way different stuff. I mean, they kind of went into, like, same order, but different, which I'm going to probably talk about right now, so I don't really need to explain what the episode was about, because it's basically what it was. Um, okay, now, first of all, here's the main thing that was way different. In the book, yeah, Kara and Freddy, they're friends. In the episode, they were siblings brother and sister, so that, that, that was the first part already, that was way different, um, the second part was how they discovered the door, um, in the, in the book, it was, it's when they're playing in the basement, and they discover the door, because, um, the, the, the ba their basement is basically like a, um, a lounge, like, they have, like, a pool table, um, air hockey thing, and, um, foosball table, and, but in, in the, in the episode, it was their birthdays, um, and they were down in the basement trying to search for their birthday present, because their parents were like, don't try to find your present or anything, and they end up discovering the door. Um, the castle, especially, was the most main thing, um, because in the episode, they didn't go to no castle at all. I mean, what happens in the episode is, um, I think they, they fall into the, um, in, in the coffin, coffin, there's, like, a hidden room behind the coffin or something, and, um, there's, like, a, a really big green room. There's a bunch of coffins in it and all that. And the book and the character, the, the girl Gwendolyn, the little vampire who's, like, a Cinderella-type thing, she's, like, an evil little bitch in this one. She was, like, kind in, in, in the episode. I mean, she was, like... She basically, like, felt bad for the kids, and, you know. Um, the ending was kind of, like, the same. 
I mean, discovering that the fact that, um, that the vampire was related to the mother, um, but what was way different was, um, in the book, they said that Freddy was like, well, how, how come I don't have my bags? It was because he had to wait like a hundred years for, for him to get them. But in the book, or I mean, in the episode, the brother and sister, they had to, um, they get them on their 13th birthday. Um, and, and, and the weirdest thing, the weirdest twist in the book, um, what they find was, what's, what was it called? Werewolf sweat? What? Let me find it. Yeah, werewolf sweat. That was the twist in that one. But in, in the episode, um, the twist was, um, the bunk beds, um, the bunk beds were, um, coffins. But that was basically the whole point. That was basically all the differences I could think of that were in this. But, um, and I mean, the book was okay. I mean, it, it's, there's just a lot of confusing parts to it. I, I mean, most of the time when I was reading it, I was like, what? What? It was, it was just, it was so different. I mean, I think the episode was a little bit better. All right. Yeah, but so that's, that's basically my review for book number 49. So yeah, uh, I guess I'm getting way close to, to the ending of the original franchise. So um yeah, but um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.